<laughs> You're sure of that? Positive. Okay. I'm feeling if I am too. Did you pass these out to the board members? passed out to you right now is a response from the FTA to me, and it's regarding the weight restrictions. If you read it, you will see that the FTA made a change over a year ago, or just about a year ago, it's last October. Trying that just a week ago, started to notify over 80 people that service was taken away from that they are entitled to the service. They've been entitled to it for over a year, or just about a year. This is wrong. You've heard us come before you many, many times talking about discrimination. This is discrimination when you do not allow people to have the service that is mandated they have. I also came before the board. Tiffany, I'm not sure you might be the only one that remembers advocating for a lady who was 14 pounds over the 600 pound capacity when the common wheelchair was still part of the federal code. She lost her service as an individual. She had, had to have somebody accompany her and or use a scooter, which I'm not going to go through all of it, but it was, it's tough on her. That's why she had to do power chair. She just now got notified. Why didn't she get notified a year ago that she could have had the service mandated for her? I also, when I was advocating, shared with the board, it's a matter of record, two emails from the FDA acknowledging their desire that entities try to provide service when they can. I also shared the name of a woman from the Civil Rights Division of the Federal Transit Administration that I spoke with that said the same thing. The Service that is now being reinstated is on the same buses. Some of them are newer, but some of them are the same buses. At the time, if I recall, and it's about a record that I supplied, the capacity was 725 or 750 pounds on some of your older buses. Still, a woman at 614 pounds was denied service. The List of excuses which I also provided to you, including groaning buses, uh, uh, groaning lifts, excuse me, as a reason that it was impossible to deliver the service, but yet you're going to be delivering the service today. What was that term you used about Romney? I can't believe that's three minutes. I've got to just cover this one other one because this board should be aware of it. Lift service. The quarter, by the way, just ended last month. The quarter ending last month versus a year ago, lift service is down 8.1%, while complaints are up over 200%. Again, people with disabilities that are being discriminated against and are not getting the type of service they should be getting. We, we contribute this, and staff agreed at the TAP meeting last week to Fair increases as certainly a good possibility. Cuts of hours of service in certain areas. Staff agreed that's a good possibility. And I'm saying, which staff didn't comment one way or the other, denial of service, such as I've been talking about with the weight constrictions. I have a lot more, but thank you. 